Investors are still focused on their long-term goals despite looming macro concerns. A new retail investor survey from eToro showed 55% of investors are still focused on long-term security. Callie Cox, eToro USA investment analyst, here with us in studio. Callie, thanks for taking the time today. Let's dive into some of the findings of the survey. So where overwhelming are you seeing some of investors' attention shifting to right now? Well, I think you could go a few ways here. So investors, like you said, are longer term. I think that that's uh, a misnomer out there that retail investors are all, you know, day trading and, you know, looking for that short term stock pick. That's not true. But they while they have their long term portfolios, they are you know, being more tactical on the side. They see that markets are changing and, you know, they want to get in on some of that action. So a little bit of both is happening. Um, retail investors are also diversifying a little bit. You know, they love their stocks. They love their crypto. They know that more risky assets are the path to growing wealth. But at the same time, they feel nervous, just like everybody else. And they're looking at bonds. They're looking at commodities and they're looking at cash. I mean, with the kind of rates we see on cash, I'm not surprised by that at all. I love some of the um, insights in this about younger versus older mm -hmm. investors. Uh, one of them that younger investors are more worried about inflation. Older investors are more worried about a potential recession. I think that's really interesting. I don't know why that is, <laughs> I guess. I guess yeah. older, older Americans maybe have seen inflation before, right. and they'd rather deal with that than have what they see as the worst uh, outcome, which is recession. But I don't know then how they're making decisions based on those two different views. I thought this was interesting, too. It really struck me at first. And the more I read into the data, the more I saw that it might be that younger investors are less worried about a recession. To be clear, they're worried about it. Um, it was their second Just highest relative setting. basis. Right, exactly. It. It's all relative. Uh, and uh, recession was the second highest risk among those younger investors. But I think it goes to show that, you know, maybe younger consumers are having a better time in this economic environment. And if you look at the job market, I think you can make a good argument for that. Hmm. Sector right now, I mean, there's still overwhelming focus uh, among young investors in tech. Um, however, the older investments, they're, they're going into financials. So what are we seeing in terms of who is placing more of their, their, their interest, but more so just perhaps old strategy on some of where the market could potentially move in these two sectors? Yeah, so technology always pops up as one that retail investors are very interested in. That should come as a surprise to nobody. I mean, those are the brands we know and use every day. Uh, financial services also rank pretty high, highly there. So when I saw the sector uh, survey outcome, uh, you know, older investors looking at banks, younger investors looking at tech. I wasn't too shocked by that. Those are popular retail sectors. I mean, the fact that banks have sold off so much this year for very good reason. Uh, it was a little shocking to see that, you know, investors want to pile back in there. And maybe that's, you know, a sign of higher confidence, a sign that, you know, maybe investors across the board feel a little bit better about this market. Is it clear if that's more towards the regional banks, given that some of them had been battered so much during the banking turmoil that ensued mid-March, or are they looking and saying, because of that, now I'm looking at some of the, the largest banks, knowing that they're going to be the ones that get tapped because many see them as a, a too big to fail? Yeah, so in that survey, we didn't get into that detail, but what I can tell you is that you know, we see customers you know, playing, we have seen customers playing the regional banks you know, ever since March, um, in both directions as well. And you know, they've sold off a lot, and now the market is moving higher, and they've been part of that bounce back. So you know, retail investors love to see action. They love to see momentum for that short-term tactical account, mm -hmm. that play account, if you will. So that could be a reason why investors in general are looking at banks. And, you know, maybe they're looking at the bigger banks because those are the brands they know. But the, at the same time, regional banks have been the source of action for good or bad <laughs> over these past few months. Yeah, I guess we'll find out in the next earnings season whether it is for good or for bad, <laughs> or which way it's going to lean. Callie, good to see you. Thanks for coming into the Thank studio. You. Yeah, it was a um, pleasure. Thank yeah, you for having me. Yeah, it was good me. to have you.